you try to keep it up in the air by blowing on it. You ever do that? All right. Does a does the feather always come straight down, or does it move off to one side? Oh, who knows why? Yes. Um, because I think because it's curved and it like has an odd path through the air. Because the feather has a what? You said the word. It has a uh, path through the air, an odd path through the air. Did you say the word curve? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. As a curve, all right. So you got air under both wings, but it has a shape. So what usually happens, and it does on the Cessna, is a wing will drop. If you have no flying speed and the plane stalls and that wing drops, it can go all the way over. And if it goes over on its back, the nose drops like a rock, and you are in a spin. You're right. You're in a spin. And the problem with the spin is, first of all, you don't know what just happened. The horizon was here, and then it went like this, and then it went like that, and next thing you know, you're looking up, and there's the sky, and you look down, I'm sorry, you, you look up, and there's the ground, you look down, and there's the sky, <laughs> and then it's all of a sudden everything's going past, and it oh, comes around again, whoops, comes around again, and you're spinning. Now you've really got to know who you are, where you are, and how a plane flies. Because if you don't understand the aerodynamics, you're going to spin right in the ground. So you've got to drop the nose, and if I'm spinning to the right, let's see who can think their way out of it. You don't have to be a pilot to notice. All you got to do is think. <coughs> if I'm spinning clockwise to the right, 